Uh, Judge Lynn Toler. Judge Lynn Toler. Lynn Toler. I was listening to... I've heard a couple of her interviews on a show called Hardly Initiated. And a uh, salute goes to her. My heart also goes out to her. Um, she lost her husband in 2022 after being married for 30 years. I believe this was his second marriage that carried out for 30 years. And uh, when I heard her speak of her husband, you know, it, it, it was a very hard interview for her to go through because they had become, this, this is, I had talked about this in a previous video. They were two people that actually became like that. They became one. Um, she spoke of his legacy. She spoke about the type of man that he was. Um, my, my grandmother speaks of my grandfather like that. I, I, I would like my wife to speak about me like that and vice versa. That, that's the purpose of marriage right there. That is the purpose of marriage. I do not believe, I'm speaking personally for myself, that I was meant to be single. I don't believe that, uh, it, it, takes, it takes a special someone to just be single, single. And we're talking about, you know, they, they don't wanna be bothered by anybody. We're not talking about the single person that's always at the parties and surrounding, they're, they're not single. Um, they're, they're single at home, but they, they're always surrounding themselves with people. You know, I believe that when God created us, he created us to be social individuals. And if you look at what happens to people that, people that, uh, that get locked up into to solitary confinement, they'll tell you, hey, after a while, I start losing my mind. You know, you, you can look at this in the movie uh, Tom Hanks on Castaway where he had to make a ball his friend. Um, marriage marriage is important. Marriage is is very important. Just just the idea of of becoming partnered, starting as partners and actually becoming one together. You know, that, that takes a maturity aspect. A lot of people may be scared of marriage but the idea of marriage itself wasn't for anybody to be scared uh, I, I wholly embrace it I wholly I wholeheartedly encourage it um, it's a beautiful thing when it's done correctly and when it's done right so after listening to a portion of her interview I, I just had to go go on go on here and drop this. I say, hey, if you guys have a chance to go to the Hartley Initiated Podcast, uh, type in uh, Judge Lynn Toler and hear that interview. And when you hear the grieving and at the same time, the love that comes from her heart for her spouse, I'm quite sure he had the same. I'm quite sure it was reciprocal. That's exactly what you should strive for. That's exactly what I should strive for. You you want that, you want that. That's that that's that till death do us part love. I even had to go on YouTube and I said, well, there's animals that actually you know, they're monogamous. The bald eagle, the bald eagle, uh, the gray wolf, the barn owl, um, certain certain birds are. Um I believe certain ducks are where when you see one you see the other in the Bible it says that 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 a lot of times we'll see what goes on in nature and it reflects the the glory of God it reflects the glory of an awesome being and when you see these specific animals mating for life it makes you sit back and think about wow that's you know what, what did he put in them to be like they they actually choose a partner and think about this think about this it's still the male species choosing the female species in in these examples here so take that with you take that as as some positivity or, or not some take take that as just as, as as a positive saying for today you know we weren't meant to be single uh we weren't meant to live out this life solo or alone let me know your thoughts in the comments, and if you like 
what I've said. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more content. Peace.